Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome back to another episode of my Cry Baby Whims Legacy Challenge. This is episode 10. We are back with Jasmine, who at the moment is just potty training little Grace. In the last oh, yes. episode, we found out that Jasmine is having a baby and we also found out that despite it possibly being Thomas's, it is actually Dominic's baby. And Thomas was quite upset by this. He has got the furious by cheating uh, sentiment at the moment. And even though we know it's not technically cheating because he knew that she was still in a relationship with Dominic, he didn't know the sort of like terms of this relationship. He wasn't, he was unaware that she was actually actively still engaging in romance and woohoo and things like that with her husband. Um, and Thomas was quite upset by this. So we are definitely going to be exploring a bit more of that in this episode. But for now, we are going to focus on um, Jasmine's actual pregnancy because she is, she's in halfway through. She's literally exactly halfway through. She's halfway through trimester two. Um, so in the morning, she will go into third trimester. And then the day after, she'll have the baby. She is quite upset um, about the fact it wasn't Thomas's or she's upset because Thomas was upset. Um, but she is feeling relieved for knowing who the father is. She doesn't have to like fake anything. She is able to um, be honest with herself, even though she is not obviously going to tell Dominic that it might not have been his. She doesn't need to worry about lying, um, lying to her husband, which I mean, that's a bonus, even though she is still actually lying to him like every single day while she still is having an affair. <laughs> but that, that is a whole other matter. Um, but where, I can hear Grace playing. I can't see where she is though. Oh, she's playing in the bathtub. No, Alexis that was. And Grace is in here. Um, we're just checking on her. How is she doing? She wants she wants to go to bed. Okay, so it looks like um, Jasmine is going to come and put her to bed. I have also just noticed that Jasmine has this sexual desire, a lust for love. Who who do you desire? So once again, she still doesn't know, but she is going to have to seriously have a think soon because I am unsure how long Thomas is going to be willing to continue with their little agreement um but as i say that is something that we will have to discuss with thomas probably after the baby is here we will definitely give birth to the baby in this episode then i think after we've had the baby we're gonna have to have a serious conversation with thomas about um about their relationship because he is he's clearly upset and unhappy with the terms of how it is going so we'll have to have a chat with him see how it goes but it looks like jasmine she's gonna go kiss her she's gonna go kiss dominic um, she's seen that he's quite upset after coming home from work. He's been home for like two hours now. They haven't actually interacted. So she's going to come and give him a kiss. Um, I also noticed before I started recording, uh, I just had a look at the profiles. We actually don't have any sentiments with Dominic. We have no sentiments. She sees him as attractive um, and they've got good chemistry, but obviously she's also cheated. It says may have fathered, but we know we know it's him if it's not Thomas. She only wooed with those two. Um, but yeah, whereas with Thomas, she still has got the deeply connected and sees him as very attractive. Um, even though he's furious about us cheating, like we have this deep connection with Thomas, but she doesn't have anything with Dominic. So it's interesting, it's very interesting. She is gonna come outside and back float apparently. Why don't you come do some yoga? It's been a little while since you've done some yoga and soon you won't be able to. Um, I mean, she's just splashed outside in the pool at the moment. Um, but she's going to go do some yoga instead, I think. And Grace, how it... No, Alexis, I think she's with Grace. I think she's feeling a bit unwell. She was nauseous earlier, so I wonder if she's getting, like, an illness or something. Um, but why don't you grab yourself some leftovers? I think we've got plenty of leftovers, so Jasmine doesn't need to worry about cooking tonight. Dominic is still feeling a little bit unhappy with his job. Um, so he is going to go and fill out some reports so that hopefully he can progress. As I say, I think he's a bit concerned about um, the fact that he only kind of got this job through his contact basically his relations he wants to be able to prove himself that he does actually deserve this job because i as i said i think he's i think he's actually enjoying it more than he thought he would and i think at this point he's like did i get this job because am i staying in this job because i'm good at it or is it literally because my wife's parents are my bosses um so i think he wants to be able to prove himself 
And when he gets a promotion, if he gets a promotion, I think that's when he'll kind of get over his fear. If if we haven't naturally <laughs> got rid of it, I've struggled to get rid of this before, um, but I'm gonna try and see if we can conquer his fear. But if not, he will get over it with a promotion, I'm thinking. Um, but Jasmine, how are you? She's still feeling pretty relieved from certainty acquired. She knows for sure he fathered the child, so she's feeling great now. I think tomorrow in the day, we are gonna go and do some, um, where am I looking? I'm looking for this. Uh, the, it's all updated, so I wasn't sure where to look. Um, but we are gonna come and do some things like go to an early parenthood class and go to a birth class. Even though she's done it twice before, I feel like she's gonna want to uh, maybe do a bit more as well. Jasmine has woken up at half two in the morning, absolutely starving and fully rested. So she is gonna come and get herself some French toast, I believe. I can't get over how sort of big her bump is just for um, semester two. Uh, <laughs> I'm really hoping it's just like one baby Emma. Um, but yeah, she's gonna come and get herself sorted a little bit. But we probably will head to sleep because half two is just a ridiculous time to be awake. And is she going to eat outside? Why? You've got a massive dining table here and it is cold, it's freezing. Why would you go sit outside? Alexis is up this morning. She has got class in three hours. So it looks like she is going to come and narrate a tale of dolls. I forgot obviously that she completely maxed out her creativity. Yeah, I love no. that this is at level 10 and everything else is so low. She is just super creative and doesn't really care about anything else by the looks of it. It's snowing. Oh my gosh, it's the first day of snow. How long have we got till winter? It's winter next week. Oh my gosh, it's Winterfest Eve and Winterfest next week. We've got, oh, Grace is gonna age up on Winterfest. That is so cute. And then I think, is that, yeah, Alexis on New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh, we've got some big celebrations coming up next week. Wow, okay, I was not expecting um, the holidays to come around so soon. It makes sense. Um, this is episode 10 now and we started in summer. So as I say, it makes sense. But yeah, that kind of blown my little mind. <laughs> Jasmine has woken up today in an awful mood. Um, she is losing control from her unfulfilled dreams. And I have just noticed Alexis is over here making a mess. So Jasmine is gonna come and discipline her behavior. And she's not gonna be like strict, but she's gonna be more firm. Um, she wasn't in the best mood. So she's just like, look, stop making a mess. You know, you're not supposed to do this. And we allow you to be creative, but just not in these ways. She's definitely had these conversations with her as a toddler and um, Alexis isn't learning. So she may have to become more strict um, as she, if she keeps doing it, but she's got her parenting to level eight at least. And we are gonna influence her to clean up her mess. Um, we'll just influence her. We're not gonna like force her to do it. It's just gonna say, can you clean up the mess you've been making, please? Um, she's got to school soon, but she needs to clean it up before she can head off to school. Grace is here. Can you eat your omelet? You're in your chair, but you're starving. So eat your omelet. Oh, sad little fit. Oh no, okay, she's better now. <laughs> <laughs> that is fine. Um, Dominic, why don't you come and get some food for yourself as well? And Jasmine, she's just here watching her, making sure that her daughter's definitely, definitely cleaning up. But she's going to come and watch her other kid now. And now she's angry again. She has got all of the pregnancy hormones <laughs> are probably kicking in with the fear of unfulfilled dreams. I mentioned it last time. And I do think it's linked to the whole baby um slash partner scenario she doesn't know what she wants she wants a big family but with everything that's happening with thomas she's like am i ruining this for myself she has got to make some decisions and until she has made those decisions i don't think the fear is gonna go oh good okay now jasmine is having the worst day ever this oh she's in so <laughs> She's going through so many emotions right now, um, but she's finished giving Grace a bath and Dominic has headed off to work. She is going to go to the toilet and then I think we might go and do some of the pregnancy related things that I was talking about yesterday. She might go to um, birth class. She maybe will go buy something for the upcoming baby as well. Is she in her? She is in the third trimester now, so this is her massive bump okay it's not as big as i was expecting after her second trimester bump but it's still pretty large um but yeah she's gonna go and um go to a birth class i guess we're gonna have to hire a babysitter for grace but that is fine we've kind of agreed this with dominic where he's working um she still needs to go and prepare for the birth and everything so they've agreed that 
um, we can have a we can have a sitter come over and nanny look after Grace while Jasmine is going off to do all of these things. We are going to hire a nanny. Um, Jasmine is not actually going to use this opportunity to meet up with Thomas. Um, she is literally focusing on the birth. She will see Thomas afterwards. I think Thomas has told her that he needs a little bit of space after yesterday, which I mean is really justified, Thomas. I feel for Thomas in this scenario. I know he's kind of guilty for having an affair as well, but he has got feelings too. Um, and I feel like Jasmine needs to take those into consideration a bit more, but that at the moment her focus and priority is the new baby. And then, then we will worry about that. <laughs> but I've also noticed that we have had a mess here. So chances are it was Alexis made another mess. So I hope she doesn't keep making messes, otherwise her mum will get very frustrated. But how is Grace? She is going to come and ask, some, ask for the ask for something from the nanny. I don't know what because her needs are doing pretty well, but I guess she's going to go do that. Jasmine is home now. She is going to come and eat an omelette before heading out for another class. For some reason, again, she's decided to meet outside, even though it's freezing. It has stopped snowing, um, but that is fine. I mean, that's probably better. So if it was snowing and she was out here, I would be very concerned. Um, okay, no, she's... Why? When I line up interactions, just eat your dinner and then go to your class. Just, I don't understand. Eat it first and then you can head out. Jasmine is back from her class and she's feeling pretty happy. The class was fast and Jasmine didn't retain as much information as she hoped, but it was still helpful enough. Well, I mean, this is your third child now, so I'm hoping you've kind of got a bit more experience and you'll be fine with it. Um, but she's going to come and have a dance to kind of boost her fun. I don't think we can do yoga anymore. No, she can't really do any yoga considering the fact she is in her third trimester, but we are going to dismiss the nanny, send him home. Oh my gosh. Grace, what an icon. Look at her. She's got her blue makeup on and she's playing with her cars. She is hilarious. <laughs> I do love little little Grace. And Alexis is home from school. She is she wants to admire some art and make a new friend. She's feeling pretty happy right now, even though she's not got the best grades, but to be fair, she's only just started school. And also I think, as I was saying earlier, I don't think she's super like academic academically focused or oriented i think she's definitely more creative than she is academic but that's completely fine um i don't think we're gonna force her to do things although jasmine does need to for her aspiration help a child with her homework three times so maybe we will come and get um get her to come and do some homework and we'll get jasmine to come and help her just to kind of increase our lineage maybe alexis like mom i'm really struggling with school at the moment um i'm not doing too well with my homework give me a hand please so alexis and jasmine are going to work on their homework together jasmine you can stop dancing and come and help your daughter with our homework please jasmine is just here at the moment now helping and mentoring alexis she's like yes you're doing it right well done and she's helping her with the questions that she's struggling with a little bit i think this is really sweet considering we've already said alexis might not be the most academically centered um sim so it's like nice that her mum's able to help her considering jasmine was actually really good at school i think she got like an a a grade she did it really well i love that alexis has stopped doing her homework and she's just kind of watching watching her mum. she's like yeah sure but she's actually not doing her homework um as she should be doing jasmine has called up the obstetrician and decided to go for a natural delivery once again um she is absolutely exhausted so is gonna head to sleep this bed is really really good for their energy so she'll probably still wake up at like 4am fully rested but she will give birth in the morning which is so exciting she is feeling quite sad right now from her mood swing maybe she's missing thomas she hasn't spoken to him since announcing the pregnancy and finding out that he's not the dad he hasn't contacted her so she's probably feeling quite like sad about all of that she does have a lot of feelings towards him and i wonder if that's going to kind of play a part on the conversation that she's gonna have with him but she is at the moment she's just heading to sleep even though she's a bit sad about everything jasmine has woken up at half three um and so has dominic dominic you can go back to sleep right now um jasmine has woken up needing the toilet and some food so she is gonna come and get some food for now she is feeling pretty happy again so she is feeling great about the pregnancy and everything um i did notice she has a want to become disliked by jessica i have no idea what jessica's wearing right now maybe she's going through a bit of a um crisis considering the breakup of her marriage um but she looks a bit funky but yeah jasmine has decided she doesn't want to even be neutral with jessica anymore she wants to become disliked by her i'm not actively gonna do anything about that unless we see jessica 
Um, someone else has made a mess. Oh my gosh. Um, if we see Jessica, then we will act on it. But I'm not going to go visit Jessica or call Jessica around just for them to argue. I don't think that's healthy. Um, but if we see her, then that would be a different matter. Um, but yeah, now Jasmine is feeling uncomfortable from... But her, she's been sitting down for too long. Well, go back to sleep for a little bit. It's, it's far too early. You're going to be having a baby. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Here we go. Jasmine has just gone into labour. So it is time to wake up and head to the hospital. Dominic, you should probably wake up as well. We're going to go have the baby at the hospital. We are going to join her and we're going to bring... We're going to bring our husband, obviously. Um... I mean, we're gonna have to say we called Jacques the uh, the nanny to come and look after the kids. I mean, Alexis will be going off to school anyway, but to look, to look after Grace. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head to the hospital. So we are gonna ask for an epidural from this doctor, Patricia. I don't think we've met this one before and Dominic's having a freak out. Despite it being his third child, he is freaking out again. Um, so we are asking for a an epidural to kind of ease our pain a little bit. Jasmine is feeling super uncomfortable, so I feel like any sort of uh, ease that she can get will benefit her. I think she she's also feeling pretty tense by the looks of it. So she's not too comfortable around this doctor and her unfulfilled dreams. She's feeling sad again. She's feeling energized from her water breaking, giving birth again. Jasmine has given birth. Where did it go? <laughs> Jasmine has given birth before and this and is confident that she can do this. Of course she can. And her epidural has gone well. So I think for now we are just going to kind of get her to grab some food. Um, so come buy a sandwich. Um, grab yourself some food because we didn't get to eat beforehand, which is my fault. <laughs> um, and we're just going to see how the labor goes. Hopefully it doesn't take like super long oh my gosh dominic also wants to become enemies with jessica um so he's woken up also with a really random hatred for his sister-in-law um he's also pretty chilly apparently um but it's interesting that they both kind of had that that one and oh poor, poor jasmine eat your sandwich she's still feeling quite uncomfortable from being in labor she's also feeling scared the contractions have started and the pain is more than Jasmine expected. She is having trouble understanding what is happening to her body and her mind keeps racing all the ways things can go wrong. That's really interesting. You've had your epidural, you've done this before, you know it's okay. But I guess the stress of everything is having a big impact. Um, but she is having her sandwich and then why don't you go go take, go take have a walk for a bit. Go, go on a wander, go for a walk. Oh, Dominic has got work in an hour. I wonder if he's going to go or if he's going to stay. I mean, Jasmine's obviously going to hope he's going to stay, but at the moment she's just wandering around and they haven't actually spoken at all. Um, so I wonder if he's going to take himself off to work or if he's going to stay here. That would be really interesting to see what he's going to do. If he, because he's obviously very conflicted at the moment, like with his job. He knows he is desperate for a promotion and desperate to prove himself. So is he going to stay here with Jasmine or is he going to take himself off to work to work on that promotion that he is desperate for? He could get it today as well if he works hard. I don't know if he will, but he could do. So I'm intrigued. I want to know if he's going to go or if he's not, if he's going to stay. I'm going to see what he wants to do himself. The hospital is so empty today. There's normally like multiple doctors, but there's literally one here and there is one upstairs. And that is, that's it. And we've got one patient <laughs> um, and one receptionist. There's literally like no one here. Um, but Jasmine, you can stop walking now. She's going to get the obstetrician to check her dilation um, to see sort of how far along she is, how long it will take until we can expect the baby. I, ho I really hope it's not a long one. And oh my goodness, Dominic has gone to work. He has decided to leave Jasmine alone. He's literally left his pregnant wife alone to give birth. I can't believe that. I was expecting it to be like pop up and be like, should should Dominic go to work? He's quite busy right now. But no, he just straight up went to work and left Jasmine by herself to give birth. And I don't think she's going to be very happy about this. No. Understandably, she's expected to give birth by herself. So we're only three centimeters dilated. So we are going to do some breathing exercises. And oh my gosh. And the thing is, Thomas is really like upset and mad right now. So I don't think he's going to want to come unless he does shall we invite thomas over and see what he's gonna do if he will come over because literally dominic's left or is that gonna be really suspicious um no but dominic dominic's literally left us what is jasmine gonna want to do is she gonna want to invite thomas over she doesn't want to do this alone she was already feeling really scared and 
she's upset and everything. She's not feeling too great. Is she going to want Thomas to be here? I think she is, honestly. I think she's going to invite Thomas over. Considering her husband has literally left her to give birth by herself. She's going to finish these breathing exercises and then sit, like, she's going to... She knows that Thomas is upset, but she's like, look, Dominic has left to go to work and I am here, I'm scared, I'm stressed, and I am all alone. Can you come here to support me with this birth? And we'll have to see if Thomas is going to be happy to kind of, he's going to come over. We'll have to see if he is going to be happy. Here he is, he's straight here. We are going to ask to accompany childbirth. Be like, look, Dominic has left. Look, he's literally having a panic. He's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Is everything all right? She is going to come and um, be like, Dominic has gone to work. He's left me to do this by myself. Please, can you be there when I give birth? I'm really scared. Um, please, will you be there to support me? And she's going to see what he says. Um, Thomas has said, I would love to be there to support you. So he is going to actually, despite knowing that the baby's not his, he is going to be there to actually support Jasmine, which is really interesting. Like, he's upset with her and he knows the baby's not his, but he is putting his feelings aside to be there for Jasmine, which, I mean, come on. <laughs> um, We will express our gratitude for Thomas and then he's freaking out again. We are going to sway together. They are... He's a bit tense and they're having a bit of an unpleasant conversation Mommy, because of how things went pass. yesterday. But hopefully, hopefully things will go a bit better today. Thomas is here and they're swaying together and he is trying to help her feel a bit better. He is still very understandably upset and frustrated. But as I say, he's trying to put his feelings aside for Jasmine today um, and be there for her while she needs him. And they will worry about all of their issues afterwards. But like he's trying to comfort her and make sure that she's okay as... She is giving birth to this baby. So Jasmine is here giving birth right now. Thomas is here to support her. I completely forgot to add the, um, the blur. So because of Wicked Whims, we actually have no blur right now. So I'm trying to keep the camera up here so we don't see anything. But Jasmine is giving birth finally. And Thomas is here to support her. Um, which, oh my gosh. Even though the baby's not his, he is he still here for her when her husband wasn't. And I think it is time. I think the baby is here. And it's a girl. We've had another girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, Jasmine has got three daughters right now. And I have decided that this baby is going to be called Scarlet. So, let me just check how to spell Scarlet. Okay, it is double T. I just wanted to be sure. So, we have had a baby girl called Scarlet. And luckily, it was just the one. And here she goes. She is giving birth. And look at Thomas's face over here. He is looking so proud. And here is the baby. Here we go. The doctor has prepared the birth certificate. And here we go. Here is little baby Scarlet. And that Thomas is like so amazed to have witnessed this and been here for Jasmine. Oh my goodness. Here we go, baby. We have got our third child and it's a girl. We've had three daughters. Jasmine is feeling super confident right now. Um, and Thomas is running. He is running right now. He is super stressed. But look at his smile. He's like, oh my gosh, I've just witnessed childbirth. Um, so I guess... Thomas, stop running right now. We're going to have a chat with you. Um, we can be like, look, can we please have a conversation later? I have obviously just given birth, so I need a bit of time to kind of recover. But we need to have a serious, serious chat. So that is what she's going to say to Thomas. And we're going to have a conversation with him. I'm trying to work out how we would do this, considering she's just given birth. But Dominic has left to go to work um jasmine is not going to be very happy with him but she also knows she needs to get home for her children so we need to work out when we're going to have a conversation with thomas um we might have to try and see him tomorrow potentially um because she wouldn't go out in the evening and leave her newborn baby well <laughs> to have a chat with thomas but she knows she needs to have a chat with him she's like look we really really need to have a chat everything and he's like yeah i completely agree it's really important that we can work a few things out and he's like i understand um the position you're in but we really do need to have a chat about everything um so i think maybe while we're here right now she is going to quickly say look i have got to get back home i've got to get back home to the kids um 
but we will definitely need to have a serious chat very very soon we're gonna brighten his day a little bit and be like it really really means a lot that you're here for me and he's blowing her a kiss and he's like i do still really love you jasmine but he's like i do still really love you jasmine but i can't keep doing this um especially being there with you today it has proved to me that i love you so much but i can't be the side thing anymore if you want me in your life you need to make me a priority i can't keep being pushed to the side and you can't keep pretending to have this perfect happy life with your husband and then seeing me on the side i can't do this forever um if you seriously love me and want a life with me i need you to make a choice and either stay with dominic and leave end things with me as much as that would be horrible and i would hate that i would rather that than you drag me along and keep me hidden or you can leave dominic and we can continue a life together i will be there for you and the children i absolutely adored being there today to witness scarlet being born but I can't, I can't live on the side anymore. We have to remember that obviously Jasmine was the one who convinced Thomas to leave Jessica. She was the one who made him change his whole life and everything like that for then her to still be with her husband. It's quite unfair to Thomas. She's like, look, leave your wife, but I'm not going to leave my husband. That, That's not quite fair on Thomas. And he's he's kind of realizing the emotional toll that this is taking on him and he can't be second anymore. He needs to either be one of her priorities along with her kids or he needs to be let go. Um, and this is what he's basically said to her is she needs to have a think as to whether he is important enough for her to leave her husband or whether it was just a not serious fun little thing for them to have but they need to move on from it or is it actually a serious relationship that they want to pursue and if so jasmine needs to decide she needs to make this decision but it's not fair on thomas anymore jasmine changed his whole life for her <laughs> and it's not fair that he kind of gets brushed aside anymore so thomas has kind of given jasmine a bit of an ultimatum <laughs> she needs to decide is she continuing her love affair with thomas and if she is she needs to end things with dominic but if she doesn't want to end things with dominic she needs to end things with thomas she can't continue with both of them anymore thomas has made this decision that as much as he loves her he needs to think about himself and he can't keep being hurt as he watches the love of his life raise a family with a man that he doesn't even know if she loves he jasmine needs to make a choice basically and that is the conversation that she is going to need to have with him soon she can't put it off any longer he is like look wait, i'm not expecting you to decide this right now you have just had a baby get home to your children but you can't drag me along any longer, I need to know. So Jasmine is faced with this decision and we are going to contemplate this in the very next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I would love to hear what you think Jasmine should do, whether she should leave her husband um, and start a life with Thomas or whether she should end her affair with Thomas completely and continue her her marriage with, with Dominic. Um, I really want to know what you all think, but thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And I will speak to you all in another video. Bye, everyone.